we got flat we got teleport from uh blue sun in the top lane so he'll be able to get around and have some presence as well as uh combined with his alt should be interesting i wonder if it's because i've seen gangplank be played now this is the second time we've seen him i haven't seen him a lot of competitive play but obviously these players have been doing something where they they actually really like gangplank last game wasn't a very good demonstration of uh gangplank really uh you know having a big huge impact uh, on the game so be interested to see if maybe blue sun has something up his sleeve oh i'm really hoping he does i really like gangplank and a teleport on top i don't think is seen enough uh, but hopefully with this, we actually start seeing it, uh, we, we can see its true power. Uh, we saw it summon worlds, and every time there's teleport up, even if it was teleport on Shen, so you run and double teleport Shen, things got real, really quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's also going to come down to awareness and, you know, just team communication to set that stuff up, though, as well. But it does catch a lot of people off guard, especially at this level, too. So it could be very, very, very big for them. The interesting lane is going to be that Kadantra, like I was talking about earlier, stud player, going to be rocking Jace Soraka in that bot lane to go against Blitzcrank uh, and Tomato Orange. So probably I would say, I mean, not to take anything away from KT Flash. I'm sure he's you know a great player on that team. But you know, kind of the MVP players for this team is Tomato Orange and Kadantra for both teams, respectively. I think that's going to be pretty exciting to see. No, good, that's going to be good matchups pretty much. In the mid lane and the bottom lane, both those matchups are going to be pretty fun to watch. It's going to be really interesting. I have to say, Jace, uh, Jace isn't afraid of getting blitzkrank pulled. Like, where a lot of ADs need that separation, Jace can get up in the grill. Jace can come play games. If he has to, he can man mode the hell out of you. Like, I'm, I, I, I could see that. Is, that's an interesting, this is going to be an interesting bottom lane. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm actually really excited. It's probably going to where I want to spend like most of my attention. Actually, probably we'll we'll see. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be like boring, and uh, some of them might be. But... Everybody for forty five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Talking to some of the other teams, they felt Tomato Orange's team was the odds-on favorite to win. Almost the they could be playing the Zubu Frost and KT Flash could be playing the TPA action right now. Really loose correlations, but <laughs> it's happening. I see I just, I just I did it. See how this. What we got here? I don't know. Nine seconds. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. Finals of the Google in-house. Coming to you live. SO3. Tomato orange. Too strong. Uh, meanwhile, if you are interested in checking out the third and fourth place game um, at any time or in between games or want to have both streams up because you're a baller, then uh, you can check out our RYW Media 2 stream, twitch.tv slash RYW Media 2. Um, alternatively, you can click on the info button just below this video, and it'll open up uh, links to all of our uh, different uh, channels, and you can just click on the link. It'll take you there as well. <laughs> and are you ready for some League of Legends? Oh, are you ready? Oh, Blitzcrank has to win now. I was mistaken. I've taken everything back. Blitzcrank has to win. He's a truck. Nothing is stronger than the truck. There's no move, no power, no nothing that can beat the truck. That's like what? 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 You just made my microwave ding, which means I need to go look at it. I'll be right back. <laughs> So, all right, here we go. One of the coolest skins in League of Legends <laughs> for the red team. And how quick are these starts? How coordinated are these? Looks like three members of blue team running off out the gates, but Araja and Dandruff pretty slow to start. They're still in base. Rest of red team just cruising out there. Vayne lead in charge. Looks like they're going to head towards this top blue buff. And that's pretty standard, something you're going to see when you are looking at in a Moo Moo. Uh, jungler a lot of times you gotta expect the enemy team to want to go in there and steal your buff now there's two things you do you can either go try to defend it if you feel like you have a good level one comp and you want to catch them out uh, maybe play some tricks um, hide over behind your blue buff over here which is a pretty good spot we've seen uh, some top teams do that catch some teams off guard or you can go for the enemy's blue buff either way usually typically if you're invading you should have someone ward the blue buff in this case so red should have warded their blue buff as they they moved along um, and blue team just pressing home 
Uh, it's going to take the blue buff. So we're probably going to see blue buff swap here. And no one's really going to be wounded too much by uh, these invades. <laughs> I have to expect Ooh, this is curiouser and curiouser. Both teams seem to know exactly where the other team is on the opposite side of the world. Now they're just going to charge down river at each other just straight towards mid. Uh, this is <laughs> Remember that game with Curse the where they went ARAM in a tournament? It's like that. Yeah, exactly. River ARAM? No one thought of that, did they? What? No. Nah. All random, all middle river <laughs> meetup. What? Arar. 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 It's the gangplank version. I'm not going to let you talk anymore. Okay, don't uh, do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I got to say, Bloodlord Vladimir actually looks pretty legit. His little blood magic ball is pretty tight. Oh, yeah, yeah. That skin that skin's pretty sick. I, I always want to buy it, but then I never do well with Vladimir, so... I got Vladimir the day he came out because I was like, "Oh, sick! He looks awesome!" And then I've just been bad with him ever since. Yeah, that's basically that's basically where I am. Like he's fun. Like if you actually do get ahead, like he's awesome. Like he actually has does have some comeback potential too, because ultimate's useful always. Like no matter what. But at the same time, it's just I usually just lose lane with him. And All right, let's see what's going on, bud. We have just some basic excitement Vayne getting in there doing some action a blitz grab blitz that was never going to land in a million years like ever that blitz grab was had to thread the needle of like eight minions <laughs> like, no no there's no like, it would have it would have had to turn corners there would have been some 90 degrees in there a couple of times the homing fist upgrade it's pretty good it's pretty good uh, it's, it's, item. yeah they decided that blitz crank wasn't strong enough in my homing fist Kind of what we're seeing here is that even so the thing is like Jace's range kind of is short so unless he lands his Q it doesn't really you know his that range advantage doesn't really pay off and so far he's been missing and Tomato Orange has been able to dash out of it so it'll be interesting to see how this how this lane matchup actually ends up panning out. Up top we have minions doing work as champions duel in the middle of them <laughs> and then drink potions and shoot each other in the face. Aha, aha, aha. Oh there's an engagement. A lot of focus on uh, Soraka initially, but it's not working out for him. Yeah, well, and this is where that sustain champ comes in. Yes, they knew that Jace was going to be a weak choice, but with the sustain champ, he gets to do whatever he wants. Yeah, he has infinite mana. Just basically sit in the pocket, get some heals when he needs it, and uh, they can just try to stay yep. through it. The problem is, though, is that they have no real true AD carry, and then when this gets to later game, and if Vayne just, you know, if, this, if this ends up even, let's say, Vayne just goes like, okay, sweet, I'm a hyper carry and you're not. GG. Yeah, this can't end up even. This has to go. This that we need decisions. Up top it looks like we're about to get a we're about to get a gank, maybe. If he Oh, and there's the engage, that's what he was yeah. waiting for. Scott comes out of the bush, gets the flash off, and then starts putting down the deeps. We got bang after bang after bang, and she is forced back to the tower and will go back, question mark. Or she's nope. gonna chug seventy more health potions. We'll go back to lane against somebody who has a ranged attack that can crit her in the face and just keep harassing. The harass game is back on up top. <laughs> Mid lane, everybody's just hanging out and being cordial. How nice of them. Yeah. Bot lane, we have pretty good fight going on there. We got 13 to 21 minions, though. Jace's got to really pick up the pace here if he's going to decide to keep playing this game. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at all the CS, and Red Team's CS just overall is a lot better uh, so yeah. far into this game. Except for Amumu. Amumu does work. And Amumu's wanting to come bottom and do some work. He knows this game can't be even. He's going to run out here. Oh, gets pinned to the wall. His team is focusing on Blitzcrank. What are you doing? Get that. Biatch! Oh, my gosh. First Blood going to Vayne. She's able to pick off Amumu. But then she dies, and now they've actually transferred red buff to Kadantra, so I have to be happy with the way that worked out besides the first blood part. But Yeah, no, did, why are you focusing the support, guys? Come on! Come on! I mean, even, if, even when you saw Mumu come in, he was looking like, like, Vayne was like right there, and he was like looking yeah. for Blitzcrank. Well, the th well, he was pulling off a good move there. He was trying to bait the tumble. You bait the tumble, then you get the bandit trap. It was, it was a good play, I have to say. I just don't approve of the fact that he was left pinned against the wall with no action on Vayne for so long. Because 
you I mean burning blitz down is hard enough. The mana shield pops, you have to worry about all of that. Focus the carry. Focus the one that's doing damage, then get the support. So KT flashes in mid, harassing the crap out of Madski and actually doing being a real tear, which you know, Vlad can actually do this in mid lane. You don't see you typically we see him top, but Hansel comes in from bottom and he has no mana and Katie Flash just looks at him and is like, yeah, whatever. I mean, if you have no mana, you can't really pull off a gank and it's nice that you showed up, but... Really, that's a really good look, though. I mean, what could have happened? Like, he went out there just to make a presence and just that momentary juke there could have possibly stopped him from doing a hard engage under the tower. Yeah, possibly. But yeah, no, it was kind of a chuckle. <laughs> Skarner, get out of there. You're just going to get hurt. He knows. He knows now. Up top, Aurelia kind of getting zoned here, but also being pushed back to her turret. She's just being kept way back in the back. All these juicy little minions up here. She wants to come get the CS, but not being allowed to because the bang keeps raining down from the sky. Yeah, so CS was looking good for red team. Now it's kind of swollen back the other way, and uh, blue team's starting to get some uh, a pretty good foothold, especially... Um, KT flashed in that mid lane, doing some serious work. He's only got Rise there for a while, so Rise has gone back. He's bought up. He has his tier now. Hopefully, he can uh, start stacking that and uh, protect himself from a little bit of this uh, Vlad harass he's be, you know, coming under harass from. And Vlad already has his Hextech revolver. And it's going to be even more of an annoyance in mid lane. Bunny shows up top, and, it, and just doesn't, it's not a gank attempt. It's mostly I'm holding this for my friend. <laughs> and, I just want to run at you and cry. Yeah, Gangplank decides he wants to stay, and all he gets is just wet shoes. <laughs> and half of his health gets missing. Oof. Grabs are trying to come out, but it's yeah, not really quite working. Bot lane's doing just fine. Kind of oh, big shots, big shots, wants to do something with it. Runs up, maybe trying to look for a moment of weakness there. Actually, Health kind of interesting. We actually saw this uh, Blitzcrank Vein lane from uh, Dark Terrors and Evil Cookie last night, and it worked out really, really well for them. That's because they're... Well, I mean, Evil Cookie is the only person in the world who plays Blitzcrank almost as well as I do. <laughs> And Dark Terrors, I mean, I had him Judgment 1. I know the monster he is. I played I played Blitzcrank with him. We got all the way to finals with it. Then they banned my Blitzcrank and we lost. And there's a big grab. He's getting way overextended. Just got to take some damage there as he goes back. Blitzcrank, I love you. Be a truck. Yeah, don't be a field goal kicker. <laughs> Split the uprights. I got you. Oh. And when it's looking like a big edge here as he was going for his blue... Doesn't have the mana to really fight this. And oh, then move great and bandage it. toss. That was pretty clutch. That was boss hoss. And a Moo Moo kicking it in there. Going to get this blue and maybe another one. We got blues for everybody today. It's rain and blues. I don't know. Vayne Blitzcrank are looking like they kind of want to come in and make some action happen here. Yeah, I think they might be in trouble here. Oh, no, bit, they've been unless in... Unless Jace lands that. We're in oh, four man. What's going on, and Amumu has decided to just force them out of his house. Skarner chilling, but little does he know that they can see him. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs, misses yet again, unfortunate. Or maybe fortunate, depending on who you grab. Nah, there's nobody in there you want to grab. Grab a Soraka, nobody cares. Grab anybody else, your team could be in a world of hurt. Yeah, a Mumu level 6, not something you want to want to find at the end of your fist when you it comes back. Don't like getting held on the ground for what now, like a, two seconds? Aurelia's actually taking control of this top lane completely. Got her levels, now she has the sustain. She's basically just sitting in the pocket, taking whatever... Uh, Gangplank wants to to dish out, and Gangplank you know, still still not sold. Pretty pr pretty kind of effective looking here. Uh, I really got. I'm I'm waiting for some of that, but he hasn't gone back yet. He hasn't really done anything yet. And there's the big wall stick. He's gonna have to knock somebody back, make something happen here. Big heels coming out from everybody. There's the global, and everybody ended up low there. Confident Aurelia is on the run now, getting chased down by Skarner. Use that exhaust to get that little bit of space so she doesn't get permis load. 
And she's able to escape out of this. Jay's hunting, trying to land a shot with his acceleration and gate. Unlike unlike Vayne, who's using potions to get back to, what, 400 health now. He's, I mean, they were both about equal health when that fight broke. And he is back in the game. He is ready to go. He's got the mana and the health to keep the push up. Vayne's got to go back. Yep, yep, he's sitting about 20 CS down. Uh, mid's down by about 20 CS, so they're basically both teams kind of trading advantages there, but Jay should catch up with these next couple waves uh, as he's pushing in uh, Vayne's absence. And Vlad doing a really good job, well, was doing a really good job just staying out of uh, Rune Prison range and kind of just taunting him. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting matchup because, you know, Ryze is going to take, is going to give up health to Vlad because Vlad, he's going to have to get in that range to take all those spells in order to deal out his combo. And even throwing out his full combo, it chunked Vlad a bit, but Vlad's perfectly fine to just hang around and sustain if he really wanted to. It's like Red thinking about setting up for Dragon. They're the only ones with wards here. So a Mumu Ooh, don't Mumu know what's get, up. A Mumu I'm getting pulled out. Alts. Think that's going to be his life. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really matter at that point. It looks like Gangplank teleporting in, but that's just to secure the dragon at this point. Although I think it was already pretty much had. It was had. Giving a relic of this free farm is a big mistake. Yeah, it's not something they want. Oh, the She's grab like, just barely missing Soraka over the wall. But that is good for the red team. It actually puts them a little bit ahead, even in kills, but 500 gold advantage. It's like Gangplank's going to alt top to try to farm that and slow down her push. She quick pushed that. She used her ult to push down those min that minion wave, so she's going to go back now, buy up. Yeah, actually, should, actually, I like... I like a lot of the actions coming from blue team. I mean, they gave up the, the dragon, which kind of stabilized the gold, and it's... it's uh, it's almost a 1k advantage for red team, but they're still they're still looking pretty good here going forward. The question is going to be, you know, how effective is having a Jace on their team in their team comp for team fights versus you know dealing with a, a really strong Vayne. You know, if they're able to get to to Vayne catcher and use that Aurelia to dive onto her, you know, it might be it might be perfectly fine. But I still have worries that if Tomato Orange is able to kite properly and get in damage and they're able to protect her, that she's going to clean up all the fights as we yeah. get farther in the game. Uh, she'll be do she'll be absolutely terrifying here once we get to team fighting stage. That's the one that you have to take down. I don't think anybody else is going to be as big of a problem or even a, a much of a concern. But you have that Soraka, you have that global heal, and baiting with that, being able to use that, and all the rest of the sustain that she can give your entire team. Up top, Bunny decides to put down some damage. The slows are coming down on Gangplank. They're gonna dive him. Nope, they're gonna go back. Yeah, calling off the chase right there, smart move. Probably would take too much damage from the turret, so get some back, is, is get some CS, just... ward up, do your job. Next song. <laughs> Rise now, running around in the jungle, looking for something. Let's see, oh, I thought I was actually gonna go farm gold or something for a second. Me too. Just said, just hanging. I think they just had a conversation. I think he doesn't. They don't know about. They have to know about the ward that just popped up there. They saw her put that ward there. Oh, and here comes the warning pings, telling her to get out. And sure enough, she stays far enough back that Rise is forced out of the entire situation. Yeah, it's good play by her. Just playing safe in the top lane, doesn't want to give up any kills. Already escaped out a, a one uh, gank attempt in the yep. top lane. Start <laughs> wrap people Pulling in Vlad into a turret. Unfortunately, that does not work very well. Fortunately, it's Vlad. The yeah. amount of things he cares about are none. Pool greater than turret. I mean, if Ryze was there to follow it up right away, maybe, but. Oh, and there's the a grab on Soraka! Does go off. Ryze, but it's finally hit! Boom! Stuck to the wall! Jace knows exactly what to do. Starts focusing Vayne. Doing tons of damage here. Vayne's combo is completely busted. She has to rely on her passive W just to get anything else done at this point, and it's gonna look pretty good. Yeah, good work by Jace focusing, helping out and support, keeping uh, her alive right there. Absolutely. 
But Vayne's hungry and they gotta do something here. Pretty much all the lanes uh, basically stabilizing at this point out to, to typically what they've been. I mean, Vayne's still been in with Kaper lead. Um, KD Flash has actually been extending his lead pretty healthily. I mean, 50 CS ahead. I mean, this is pretty brutal uh, right now for... Oh, 50 for CS. I'm sorry. I was not paying attention. No, he has taken advantage of his lane. He is in control of mid. Yeah, right now it's looking to me like the the best course <laughs> the best course of action or what what might be needed at least for um... oh Skarner coming back around pool has been popped but it's not going to be able to catch him. Oh Skarner's going to have to fight again. You know pool is down. Combo's going off, but he doesn't have alt or anything to hold him in there. But Rise is going to flash him to get him and wow, nope, Skarner, that's a cue. All in. That is a cue. You do not, you do, you do not jump on Vladimir with no life. That is, he is, he has maxed out his Q, three second cooldown. You do not want to be in that fight. And there we see that ghost coming into play from Madsky, actually using it to get out of dodge. But now yep. he's actually drawn a huge force to the bot lane to try to come in here and pick off a kill, but they're not going to be able to get anything done. You don't know that. There's a big rip. <coughs> Ultimate should be going down. Woo. A Moo Moo very, very low. That last turret shot is going to get him. Vayne's been oh, coming over here, here. to try to hide. And this is a mess right now for Blue Team. Teleport coming down. Gangplank is in on the field now. Just needs to get some slows off on KT Flash. They hold him in place. Now they're going to get another kill. And that is a huge turnaround. Blue looking like they wanted to make something happen. And Red responding perfectly to that. Oh, and I, just I a little bit too greedy and a little bit too all in. I don't know what just happened, but I'm offended. <laughs> I'm offended at that entire event. <laughs> Let's. Wow. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. I am shocked. Yeah. So first turret of the the game going down to red team after that big huge turnaround, picking up about three kills or so there. Exactly three kills. In fact, Aurelia, who stayed top, the only reason she was alive, she was there, and Soraka can heal from a distance, so she didn't need to be involved. But I thought I saw that fight going in a different direction. I was wrong. I apologize. <laughs> you apologize for your assumptions. So yeah, uh, Raya is actually pushing back onto mid now, and I think now that they've they freed this up a little bit, it'll be interesting to see if Vayne, where Vayne goes. Looks like she's heading towards mid, um, and taking out some more turrets would be next on their objective list, I guess. <coughs> they have a, a team that's pretty good going into late game. Oh, Ryze is actually going to be able to catch out KT Flash. A lot of members of the enemy team now. There's a way for Pool to go off. Will it be able to get him? That is the question. Oh, Pool there's Jinx. big hooks! And everybody switches focus! And boom! That was a killer grab. Bunny's going to go down in the process as well. Double kill for Vayne. That's definitely something you don't want to see flash up on the screen. And it was that, that grab, that blind grab over the wall right there, just to say hi and see what was there. Pulled him over and then stuck to the wall. Great turn on the team like they switched focus almost immediately off of Vlad uh, and were able to just pin Jace and tear him apart yeah I mean I I really thought uh, right there that I th they were gonna have tunnel vision actually be go for Vlad after pool came out but instead they were just like oh I see a Jace here pulled him over and the next thing he knew he was gone a Dead. wild Jace has approached kill it And Vayne's already showing why you need a real carry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's going to be a terror for, for the team. She's mopping up the floor with a Phantom Dancer, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what she's doing. Although KT Flash still looking strong for his team. He's not quite the, the big 80 carry, but Vlad will be a problem the farther the game goes on. But I still feel like... Rise is even one of those champions, though, that even though he gets behind, as long as he kind of gets his main items, um, I mean, he's fine. You mean once you get a Banshee's Veil? <laughs> <laughs> like, once you've gotten to that point where you have your cat, you have your Rod of Ages, your tier may be upgraded at some point, 
maybe. And then you just grab a Glacial Shroud and the fourth item, Banshee's Veil, you're done. You build the most offensive set ever and win. Doing a million damage. This next engagement is going to be telling, though. This ne everybody's gone back either by death or whatever and bought up, and now this next engagement is going to be telling on how this game is really going to go. Does this team really have what it takes in a real team fight to hold their own, or was that just a pipe dream? Yeah, one of the interesting things that's going on right now is Aurelia's bottom. She has no way to really get to top except for to hoof it, and red teams position themselves mainly in this top jungle. That kind of makes me a little worried in case they decide to pick up. Blitzcrank just wanted to chase down Katie Flash, but Katie Flash too quick pulls on, out of that grab. Um, it was a good, it was a good little juke move. Should have silenced him, then grabbed him. Yeah, would have been able to pull that off. And here goes that second turret we were talking about. And top should be next to fall. Looks like they switched uh, Kadantra up there. Maybe it's easier for him to farm up against Gangplank. But he's going to have a lot of company pretty soon. And Aurelia backs to free farming, doing her work. Takes a turret and might just keep going. Yeah, Dandruff's actually going to be the key to deal with Vayne. Because it's all going to be on her to try to dash in there and try to hold her in place. I think they have the tools to peel her, though. And, and uh, Vayne can be pretty elusive. And once she's taken care of, I don't think blue team, unless they can get a really good grab on her, catch her off guard out of position, I don't think they have much chance to, to, to really track her down. So here's the engagement that's going to be happening right on top of this here, yonder here top turret. It's a 4v4 right now with Scarlet and Aurelia missing from all of the action. <laughs> yeah, Aurelia's just basically just been rotating all these lanes, like you said, free farming. Second well, highest she's gotta, of the game. She's got to get to that crazy point. She's got to get to that moment where it doesn't matter. I mean, blue team has all the CS and none of the kills right now. I think that's... I don't know if it's working out for them that way. Uh, working out for them so well. They're 4K behind right now. It's they got to start getting some global objectives and really not dying would be nice. Yeah, it looks like they got a good push on this top turret. Pirate's going to pop his ult. One problem. Wave. Vayne just Vayne up. coming up here. Gate is popped to help them get a little bit of speed to escape out of it. it looks like they will be able to to get out of this. Meanwhile, Rise and Skarn are pushing both the uh, mid and bottom lane. Looks like Red stopping their blue pills. Going to come back in here and probably try to press the top there. Still don't quite have the grab. Probably oh, going to be juiced oh. right there by Kodantra. That was a beautiful juke. Backing up into. Dangerous against a vein who could tumble and stick you to the wall. But getting grabbed, I think, much more uh, much more of a problem at this point. <laughs> yes, for sure. Actually, a little two-man push action in mid against uh, Aurelia and Amumu. Yeah, it looks like Matsky's actually going to blue pill back. Should probably stay, you know, online to help his team out here. It looks like, yeah, he's going to cancel that. He's going to run up top. Try to help secure this push. Looks like both teams just gearing up to defend this or take this top turret. And Tomato Wars taking a lot of damage there. Yeah, no, those big shots that are coming off of Jace are are, are so really telling. Pop, they're going in. Cat scan getting caught out here. He's going to pop his silence, try to protect himself. Now here comes in the Rise AoE damage. Vayne is still alive. That's still a big problem for them. Ignite goes down. She comes back into the team fight. And she's just going to clean this up with whatever's left. Double kill for Vayne yet again. KT Flash on the run. We're and not done yeah, yet. Yeah, he is going to go down. Aurelia not in these team fights. They need her. Absolutely need her. Because, I mean, we can even look in right now, and all that CS, you know, 40 CS ahead of her opponent. She's running around, she's pushing lanes. That's great and all, trying to trying to get turrets for her team. But at the other, on the other hand, um, Gangplank's still 1.2, 1.4k ahead of her. And, and he, Gangplank using his ultimate to just stop her. 
Yeah. Like that's what he's he's his ultimate has been used every single time to while he's pushing out his own lane just to stop her. Just to be like, eh, I don't really feel like you should have that. Not super effective, not doing a ton of damage, but stopping her nonetheless from doing whatever she wants. You know, coming into this game, I know that uh, the other team was saying that they didn't practice any uh, red side or blue purple side strats, and they had blue side strats. So this is their blue side strat. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just curious uh, how this panned out in practice or what they saw. That you know, blue team just counter jungling strat. itself, leaving one minion behind the blue camp. They feel pretty oh, confident. A... I'm actually gonna pull out uh, Vlad, which is you know not necessarily the best target, but oh, but it's oh. here we go. We have Dandruff online. Amuma is able to get a hold on her. They're able yes! to take out Vayne. This is what they want to do. This is the look they want. Could... Cat scan's gonna go down. Next is gonna follow his Blue Sun. Skarner in the middle of an angry swarm of four blue team members, trying to hold it down. Rise back and forth. Doesn't want to die to KT Flash, but it's gonna happen, and that is exactly the team fight they wanted. There's an ace for Blue Team coming back that, here. The, that is the comp I was talking about. That's the fight that I was telling you needed to happen, where they needed to get they they. You were right. Dandruff had to get back there on Vayne, but uh, that beautiful freaking engagement, and now they're gonna go and try and rush this Baron really quick. Jay's going man mode, and big heels coming down from Soraka trying to keep her team alive. Yeah, I think part of the main problem, too, was that uh, Red Team was a little overconfident after the last team fight and didn't actually like go buy up or anything. And now the game is up in the air. I mean, it's anybody's game at this point. So Goldie's been cut down to 1.6k. Yeah. And that commanding lead that you know Red Team was trying to build for themselves, you know, it's, it's basically gone. True, but, I mean, they now know. They, I mean... Got to save that hook. Got to save that sting for when for Dandruff trying to get back there on on Vayne. Because as soon as she's locked up like that, they're having no problem making quick work out of her. Oh yeah. And now the bear buff is going to become interesting. I think one of the things the red team should be looking for at this point is warding up a lot. Um, I don't see any oracles from anybody on their team, which would be really helpful. I don't think anybody has oracles in this game. Nope. Which is pretty suspect. There should be oracles in this game already. At 30 minutes, there should have been at least 20 of them. Yeah, so so really, well, as I'm looking at uh, the way these teams are set up, what Red Team really wants to do against this Baron buff team is like they have they, they have Blitzcrank. They should you know ward up, pick. gain vi uh, vision advantage, and then try to get a hook, try to get a pull, and pick someone off. Because this, this, the, where, where they're positioned right now is not good at all. It's looking like it's going to be a Baron Dragon fight. I mean, they're so split up even on the map how they're running, and they don't want to get in a straight-up fight. And they're not even in a position where they would even be able to back off very well. All and right, looks like the conversation's happening about this. And boom, big shot right off the bat. Look, falls and a lot of focus onto Soraka. Dragon's gonna go down. Gonna be able to grab Blue There's Sun. There's Vayne. Kind of a target they There's want. Vayne. They a lot Vayne of alts used. Will Vayne be able to get out of this? She actually backed off out of the fight. Now she's trying to turn around, but she can't really hang around. And Dandruff closing in on her. They're able to finish it off. And Blue Team has totally swung this game around. They're looking pretty good and fighting against a Baron up team over Dragon. Pretty ill advised. I would have tried to push another lane or something. Um, then we'll How did Jace jump the wall? Does Jace have a move that I'm unaware of? To the skies. Uh, uh. And another ace over a dragon. Ace over dragon pushes them a K ahead, 2k ahead now. Uh, they're going to push two turrets over, and this game is delicious. Yeah, I mean, this team fight comp, the way it looks now, is. is at, at this stage, looks very, very strong. And they're going to be able to take out this base turret. And I have to believe this is going to definitely give them the upper hand to close out this game if they're able to take down some career. They are running. Full retreat. Now a 4K advantage swung the other way. What was like a 10-2 game is now 14-12. 
pretty Red brutal, and it has to be pretty disheartening uh, for Red the Red Team. Red Team's got to put it together. Red Team's got to pull it together now. If they let themselves get disheartened, if they let themselves fall on their heels, they're going to regret it. They're going to regret it because they still can win this game. They just have to protect Vayne and sink some putts. A very scared of Moomoo right now, blue pilling in the middle of all the crazy. Still no oracles though. Oh wait, Soraka got an oracles. Yeah, well, at least first the game. Yeah, that's a good move for them. But red team should definitely have one on their team. There's pretty much no excuse at this point. They're blue pilling back, trying to defend their inhibitor. It looks like. Oh, thought he could. Bl it, it, what? All right, made contact, but not enough. <laughs> blue pill too strong. Yeah, that would have been a wah 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 moment. Looking to shop, getting caught. Shop, shop menu number one support. Giant minion wave up top. Somebody on blue team's got to be hungry for that. But right now, it seems like they know they can win this. They know their comp works, and they're really hoping that this team uh, that they can get a good engagement again. So red team, yeah, just turtling now. Blue team finally recognizing the, the big push that's going on with uh, that wave. And they're probably going to push it all the way back and start clearing out all the rest of the turrets up there. No reason they shouldn't. Um, they have enough advantage. They can push those. Look at and their one. It'll, it'll keep that lane pushing because having that first turret up uh, top lane is actually auto-pushing their own lane in top lane. Oof. But look at, that, look at that beautiful ward coverage blue has. Blue can see you. Like, that's how it is. If you're coming through your jungle up to your turret, they're going to know how many of you, they're going to know where you're at, what you do, and what you believe in. They change your religion if they want. Yeah, Red and Team is basically defensive warding right now, trying to protect themselves. Top turret is going to fall. And Blue has a lot of mobility with Jace. If they stick with Jace, you know, they can gate around pretty much anywhere very, very quickly. And there goes Vladimir all the way down, Bod. Going to try to get this pushing out as well. Got a few minutes before Baron comes back up. You want to have that board control. You have the gold advantage. You've proven your dominance a few times. Now it's time to get the board control, get everything pushing your direction, so that you can split them up and get that Baron again. <laughs> Scarlet going there is going to pull out a Mumu of all targets. And <laughs> uh, Vayne almost recognizes this, almost tries to condemn away, but then he comes back really quickly. They're able to pick off a Moomoo, so that all is gone. Um, actually, pretty good pickoff right now for Red Team. And there wasn't it was a blue team there to capitalize. Vlad Bottom coming back into the fight now. And they're going to get this outer, this, you get this outer turret. It's a good play by them. Solid play. I mean, you don't really want to grab the tank, but when you have that opportunity, they're caught out. Their team isn't anywhere to help them. You might as well just kill him, get him off the board, waste his ult, get some gold on your team, on all those assists, and call it a day. Yeah, it looks like it's going to pan out for them. Um, opportunity knocked, and they, they took advantage of it. I mean, mainly the, the, the thing being that, uh, you know, the blue team wasn't there to capitalize after they pulled him in and Mumu ulted. I mean, it was mm. basically just left all alone. And, and Red Team knew that. They saw Aurelia, or they saw Vladimir Bottom. They knew that the rest of the team had been pulling back. Yeah. I'm Theodore Helpington, and I support that grab. <laughs> yeah, Red uh, trying to actually just secure all their buffs. Baron's up now. Red's warded a lot more in the enemy jungle and along Baron. Blue has buffs. Uh, has Still no oracles, though. Still no oracles. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big. They're so literally they definitely need to fix next game um, if they don't know what's going on. I mean, that's definitely the one glaring thing that I'm seeing from them right now. I mean, sometimes they just end up standing on top of wards forever. Now they can just bait, try to bait this fight out. Now we get to play the position war. <laughs> Woo! War death!
Blitzcrank could make a terrifying grab over a wall. They need to not be standing up like that. Yeah, that's. I know a Moomoo wants so it. That's, yeah, that's super greedy. That's how that's how games get lost. So many wars down by both teams. Just definitely positioning, playing the position war uh, over this bear, and they know it's the key objective. They know whatever team wins that is going to have a huge advantage, and arguably could win the game. Yeah, I mean, last uh, you saw what happened. Every lane was pushed back to base. There's a naked inhibitor because of the last Baron, and that little fight dance that just happened. Looks like a Rillie's blue pilling. Gangplank's pushing bottom. Now for With thing. Gangplank showing himself bottom, they should be moving hard on Baron. It's a 4v5. Aurelia going back doesn't make any sense right now. Yeah, I feel like maybe they, they know that like, he has an alt. and he, Actually, you know what? He has alt and he has teleport, so he could actually get there. I take it back. Still, you you can you could bait those. You could bait those out of him, and and that would be a win. Yeah, and stop him from pushing your bottom line, <laughs> which is gonna which you're gonna have to deal with or just give up turret damage eventually. Anyways, it looks like Blue has started a three man Baron, which Red should be collapsing on as fast as possible. Yeah, they're gonna push him off, and yeah, I just I would just keep uh, Gangplank trucking at this point. This is actually working yep. out for them. If they just, Gangplank could just keep keep on pushing. They need to dedicate. They have to get him out of there. They can't let him just push down turrets down there. That is their power lane. That's the lane they got back to the inhibitor. They got to make it work. Yeah, and there he goes. He's going to be pressing onto this next turret very, very shortly. Got blue team. Move it. Let's go. Yeah, they've decided it's go time. Oh, there's the grab onto a Moomoo of all people. Tries to flash, fails flash. He's not going to be able to get out. He's going to also try to. Oh, actually, no, he didn't flash. I thought he, I thought I saw a flash. Maybe it was a condemn. And he's back into the Baron pit. They're good. Pirate Alt was in a very bad position. About. <laughs> and he teleported up. Oh, but the grab on the Soraka and the flash <laughs> right afterwards. Man, oh, man. Oh, and they actually grab out Vlad. That is actually huge for their team. And now Tomato Orange just needs to try to survive, but he's not able to do it. That no, Aurelia and Jace. Gotcha. Aurelia and Jace both just collapsed on him. Oh, Ryze's positioning right now is so, so missing. clutch up in this this brush. But Jace able to finally clean this up, and Aurelia's still alive. Aurelia MVP right now for their team. For real. Spending all that time farming has really paid off. And now she is a force that will not be stopped. Yeah, I mean, once she's been, ever since she got involved in these team fights, it's been a completely different game. This is a pretty hard push. See if they're able to take out another base turret, it looks like, is what they're focusing on. Or, nope, they're going to go for the hip, which is the correct choice, in my opinion. Yeah. They have 15 seconds before anybody can do anything about it. Nobody on the board can stop this team. Just Jace going man mode on Vayne, educating her on the finer points of getting caught. And now Gangplank is still just losing. Boom. Now that inhibitor is going to be money. Yep, yep. Coming back up, there's a big wave up top to push by. More cash to come down. The 5k lead, or 4k lead uh, of blue team is just going to get bigger. Pick up a dragon, snowball, and it's even more. I mean, they're only still, they're only about 5k up right now. And it's still a pretty even game, but their team fights are so much stronger than the Vayne, red teams. Vayne seemed to learn her lesson. She just got back with a Guardian's Angel. She does not want, she does not want. Yeah, I mean, really, the name of the game is just keeping her, like, she even needs to be like, just like another level back than what she already is and just... Try to be as completely safe as possible. And this, yeah. But I mean, they're, they're definitely looking for her. As soon as they see her, you know, she's the big bullseye target that they're going for. But pretty much Red Team's hopes of winning this game are pretty much all tied to her elusiveness. Yep. The, if she is alive, they will win. As soon as she dies, if Jace and Aurelia get, are able to decide once again that she does not need to live... This game is going to be very short. <laughs> I'm really waiting in base, I think, for 
something, I believe. A couple more gold, maybe? There it is. Big items. And then here comes the Baron move. Yep, yep. Aurelia's not even there, and they're already trying to take it. Grab just barely misses. Good, good movement. Got 16 seconds now. Pirate out coming in. Blue team does not care at all. <laughs> Still hucking balls. And Vayne's positioning is not the position you want. And yeah, Skarner, tempted up, steal. Clean up a free kill oh, on Skarner. Oh, Aurelia showed up. Look at that. <laughs> without that, without that peel from Skarner, I'm pretty sure that fight will not be won. Yeah, there's no real chance. I think they really just need to like get a mental check on you know because he just said like without Skarner's peel, but I think they've, the problem is they've been using Skarner to, to initiate all this time. Yeah, no, that's the, not the, how he needs to be used. Nope. They're not even paying attention to Vayne right now. They've stopped paying attention to Vayne. They're pretty sure if they just collapse the rest of. No! <laughs> oh! And there's that second inhibitor, and like Freak and R uh, Riv said, once that second inhibitor goes down, it's pretty hard to come back, if not impossible. Yeah, what was it, like 78% uh, win ratio once you take down the second inhibitor, or 78% yep. loss, or whatever. There it is. Just Ooh. the minions in the base alone will take care of this. And Vayne's going <laughs> to revive to die. Oh, Josie, get a chance, because that next is blown up, and game one will go to take.